This is Amid Yemi Gemar and Shabbos. Adap Chof Aleph Amid B. He's quite a famous Amid, as we'll see, as we're going to dive into Chanukah. Nothing like Chanukah as you prepare for Pesach. But says the Gemara, three lines from the bottom on Chof Aleph Amid Aleph, at the two dots, Amid Rav Huna Psiles Ushmanim. Teaches Rav Huna the wicks, the oils, the Shamru Chachamim, in which we were discussing in the Mishnah. In Malik and Bamba Shabbos, all the items that we said that you're not allowed to use on Shabbos in Malik and Bamba Chanukah, you similarly cannot use them on Chanukah. But on Chanukah, it's not only a Shabbos issue, being be Shabbos, being be Chol. You're not allowed to use them neither on Shabbos nor during the week. And the question is, why? Explains the Gemara simply, Amar Rav, my time with the Ravuna. Because Kesavar Ravuna Masold Kansa Zakukla. That if the fire goes out on Chanukah, you have to relit it. Relight it, excuse me. And therefore, if it's not a good wick, we're worried you might not relight it. And that's the reason why during the week you can't use these wicks because you might not have Hanukkah candles. And Ubat to the Shamish Aira. And as well, he holds that you're allowed to use the Hanukkah's lights. And therefore, on Shabbos, we have to be worried it's not going to be a good light. And you're going to come to play with it to fix it on Shabbos. You cannot use such wicks, such oils, neither during the week nor on Shabbos, teaches Rav Huna. Rav Chista Amar, no. Malik and Ben Bechol, you can, yes, use it during the week. Avalei B'Shabbos. What does Rav Chista hold? Kosavar, Rav Chista must hold as we turn over to Amar Beis. Kavsa, in the law. That you're not able, you do not have to care about the candles if they go out. The Hadloka, as we'll see, is the mitzvah. Once you light it, you don't have to worry about it. And therefore, who cares that it might not light properly during the week? You don't have to relight it. But um, you let it yes use it on Shabbos. You let it get benefit from the candles. Therefore, there's a Shabbos concern that you might play with the wick in order to keep it on, and that's why you're not allowed to use it on Shabbos. Amar Rav Zira, Amar Rav Nasta, third sheet. Amar Rav Zira, Amar Rav Sils, Yishuan Shabbat Chamim Leva Shabbos. Malikim and Bechanika Bein Bechol Bein Bechabes. The third other extreme is you're allowed to use them always. Amr of Yermia, my time of the Rav, where does his third opinion come from? Kasavar, Kavsa in Zakukla. That if it goes out, you're not concerned about it, they're free to use it during the week. And, and one is not allowed to use it. And one is not allowed to get benefit from the Hanukkah candles. Therefore, we don't have to worry about it on Shabbos. This, of course, is the Shita that we hold like. Says the Gemara, Maru Rabbanon Kamei Rabbaya. The Rabbanon said in front of Rabbaya, Mishrei Derev Yirmiya, Veloi Kibla, but Rabbaya didn't accept it. Ki also Rabban and Rabban came to Bavel, Amru Rabbanon Kamei Derabaya, Mishrei Derev Yoichanon. And this time when he said the name of Rav Yoichanon, Ve Kibla, Amar Rabbaya said, Izachi Gamir to the Shemite to Meikara. Vitamin Zaychai would have been able to learn it earlier. Says the Gemara, Vagamra, what's the difference? But you learned it right now. Says, we're not Gamina, Ligirsa, the Yankisa. Such an important line. And Rashi on the last wide line of the Tabu Lama teaches what's Girsa, the Yankisa. When you learn something when you're young, Mitkayim, Yoiser, Michel's Kena. It's more Mitkayim, that which we learn when we're young makes an inedible impression on our brain. And therefore, Bayo was bemoaning the fact he wished he could have learned it earlier on in his life. Now, says the Gemara, let's dive into this sugya of Kavsa Zakaglob, Kavsa Gain Zakaglob, and exactly what's going on. Says the Gemara, 10 lines down, the first word in line is the Girsa the Yankasa, the Kavsa in Zakaglob. Really? If it goes out, you don't have to worry about it. This is a kasha on the last two shittais. Veriminu, I'll ask you a stira. Mitzvasa, what's the mitzvah of Chanukah? When the sun sets, until people stop walking in the marketplace. My love, what does that mean? What does it mean that the mitzvah is the whole time? That if it goes out, you have to relight it. Says the Gemara, no, that's not what it means. It means, if you didn't yet light it, you have to light it until the time of Tichla. Regal minashok inami. Another b'sha. What I might mean is lishiura. How much oil you have to put inside the candles? Says the Gemara. Shetechla regal minashok vad kama. How much is that? Amar Rav Rachana. Amar Rav Yechanan. Ad the techelia rigla the tarmudai till the tarmudai ends. Who the people that were in the marketplace last? 
till they leave the market. Tanu Rabbanan continues the Gemara 20 lines down at the two dots. Mitzvahs, Chanukah, what is the mitzvah of Chanukah? Neher ish ubeisai. Each man and his entire house. Bamahadre in the higher level. Neher l'chol achad is each person in the house lights one candle. Vamahadrim and Amahadrim, which of course is what we know we all do. First day you light eight, and every day it gets less. You add on one every day. Amar Ula explains Ula. There are two Amarayim in Eretz Yisrael. They argued over what was this machleg is beishami beisilo. Rav Yosi bar Rav and Rav Yosi bar Zvida. Chad Amar Taim to beishami. You know the reason for beishami is that you go from eight down to one. Kineged yomim hanech nasim. The days that are going to come, eight the first day, there's eight days left. Seven the second day, etc. Taim to beisilo. And what's the reason for beisilo? Kineged yomim ayotim. The days that have passed, one day passed, two days passed, etc. That's one reason of explaining it. Chadomar, another pshat is time to be shamai. Can I get pariachag? It corresponds to the carbonos on Sukkis. That the time of the base Hillel and base Hillel, what is the increase? I Meaning that's what be shamai would hold. Chadomar, time to be shamai. Can I get pariachag? That it gets less each day. Time of the base Hillel is why the Ma'ilim B'Kaidash Ve'in Ve'Iridin that we do not go down. We always go up. Amai Rabbah Bar Barachana about fifteen lines from the bottom. The first one line is Bar. Explains Rabbah Barachana Shnei Zekinim Ayu B'Tzidin. There were two elderly people in Tzidin. Echad Achad Kibei Shamai. Echad Achad Asa Kibei Silel. Then I sit down the Dvaro. This one explained. Can I get Bar Yachag like we just learned Bei Shamai? Then I sit down. Then I sit down the Dvaro. The Ma'ilim B'Kaidish Shem Eirid and you always go up like Bei Silel. Tana Rabbah continues the Gemara. The mitzvah is to put it by the entrance of your house, on the outside. If you live in an upper floor and therefore you don't have such a place outside your door to place the Ner Chanukah, you put in a window. These words is what changed the world. That once it became a Shasai Kana, explain the Rishayim that once the history had it that it was a Shasai Kana, then the Menayur is placed in your table, Vidayoi, and that is sufficient. You put it and you no longer have to put it at Pesach Pesai. Oh my Rava, Zarnera, Cheres, Lishtamish, Laira. Says Rava that once the Menayur is going to be inside your house, you're going to need another Nair. To use, because we ask, and you're not allowed to benefit for the Hanukkah candles. So says the Rav, if the Meneir is in your table, you need another Nair to benefit from its light. Vika Madura, however, if there's a large fire in the room, similar to our electric light, light Sarech, you do not need that extra candle. Vika Adam Chashivu, and similarly, if you're not Adam Chashiv, Avakav Vika Madura, Tzarech Nera Cheres, why? Because it will look like the Hanukkah candles are for your own purpose. And therefore, Nadav Chashev always has a Shamish. Says the Gemara, my Hanukkah, with this we conclude, what is Hanukkah? The Tanu Rabbanon. Bechavei Bekislav, you made the Hanukkah, the end of the narrow lines. 25th days of Kislev, were days of Hanukkah, Temanyan Inon. There are eight days, all this of Ahimlo, this is Baha'i, you know, they have a speed, you know, they fast. Why? Because when the Greeks entered into the base, they made all the oils impure. When the kingdom of the Chashmanayim were stronger and they won, they checked, they only found one little bit of oil. It had the seal of the king God. It was only enough to lay for one day. And it'll live for eight days. The next year, they made those days the Yom Taivim, but Halel, Ube Haida, is Halel and Haida for the incredible miracle that happened. We'll stop over here. We'll pick it up from Tanan Hassam in the next year.